I believe. Mm. Yeah. Was it 3 1? I didn't see the Oh, no, no, it was 3 0. It was 3 0. Was it 3 1 or 3 0? Let me, let me check the back. Yeah. Yeah, I was only watching a little bit of the set, but uh, these upcoming tournaments. Switch Fest coming up soon. Oh, my God. Yeah. this month. All these games are going to be there. It's going to be really fun yeah. times. So yeah, 3 0. Uh, OC Japan Fair. That's. Is there going to be a tournament there? I mean, I imagine, like, there's a Smash TG page. Right. <laughs> and it's on I mean, is TG running it, though? Uh, yeah, we do. I think we did uh, one of the other fairs, too, there. So, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. And again, there's that Ohio event coming up really soon, mm -hmm. too, that you guys are going to fly out players to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think there's a cap of around 300, 200 entrants. So it won't be, like, an S tier or anything like that, but it would be a I good, mean, like, It'd be probably a solid like C tier, maybe a B tier if you're coming yeah. at like 300 and yeah. it got caps and there's enough top player level. One, but we're in the grand finals. Luna finds himself uh, the big like unranked player in this finals, but doing really well today. Yeah. And he uh, normally does really good at a Thursday tournament. Uh, Nimbus, I think he's like a consistent winner that time. So, uh, Oh my god, that was sick. Ooh, I <laughs> love, yeah, I love that jab lock to the cross slap right there. It just maximizes the amount of damage you can do. Yeah, that was really good. I'm like, I've never seen Clouds go for that actually. Yeah, I've seen that quite a bit. I uh, mean, usually you'll see Clouds just like, oh, you missed attack uh, cross slash immediately. Oh, speaking of cross slash immediately, he only took 8%. Jelani already exploded with the zero suit. So did he mainly go Palutena? He went Palutena or all three games, yeah. Oh, okay, so that explains why it's the zero suit is out here. So uh, this match used to be pretty hard for Zero Suit in this uh, Smash 4. I would imagine it's harder in this game because Zero Suit doesn't have her ladder combo in this game. Yeah. So like you can't cheese oh. out the early stocks. I'm glad you see I didn't jump the stage from that forward spike. If we got DI out on that, I would it feel 50? Oh no, it would be really bad. Yeah. I mean, I don't think she can flip it enough I to take it back. So might have, depending on if she had her double jump or not. Luna's yeah, looking really good. Jump stage has to turn up a little bit. Oh, but look at that air from the right. Yeah, you gotta be careful, with, uh, careful of that hit hitbox. Yeah, I mean, Cloud's hitboxes in general are just pretty good. Oh, we can't afford to drop those. And that would have cleaned out the stock right there, but you know what? Oh, again, our second, second chance. chance. Yeah. Yep. There we go. Uh, Yet again, I have a friend that plays Zero Suit 2, and he complains about that upbeat hitbox being basically nowhere in front of her. Yeah, like, I've seen Mars, like, sometimes he gets, like, the paralyzer shot, and he tries to upbeat him, and, like, the upbeat just whips, like, right in front of him. It's almost like you have to be, like, inside the heel of the boot when she, like, starts the upbeat in order to, like, have it connect. Now, don't say it's not impossible, but once he gets limited, it's going to be really hard, but if you can get him off stage in this situation, you could be... I think he's in spot. I mean, there's Texas? the narrative flip kick. Oh, nice. Yes. There was, that was a tech chase one, too. So he just got the perfect percent to get the hicker from there. That was really good. And, and again, this is the first time no jump steady taking the lead in uh, either set, I believe. Yeah, the zero suit is working out so far. But I always thought this matchup was hard just because zero suit always wants to jump. And Cloud's hitboxes are like right there where she wants to start her offense. He gets cut by the soil pretty often. But uh, no see, really good knowledge of this character. I really like this, uh, almost getting the flip kick on the up Oh, no, no limit now. This is oh, really yeah. good. Yet again, I love what Jumpstay is doing, you know. He's kind of like faltering in neutral a little bit, but you know, he's putting on so much uh, pressure off stage that, you know, it forces Luna to kind of be super smart with his recovery. Because if he messes up just one time, that's going to be a uh, flip kick, like hard boot to the face right there. Exactly, exactly. All right. Max range cross that pretty safe on the block, but gets backfired off the stage. Jumps and goes really deep. Ooh, nice. Flipping the up B. Yeah, I believe he used this yeah, jump, but, but you no, know, it gets his limit. And yeah, he gets charged limit. Oh my god, I can't believe he neutral get up the down smash and didn't get hit. He just barely had enough invincibility. Yeah. Alright, can Lua bring this back? He's pretty far away from limit, so he's gonna have to win neutral a lot. Oh my oh goodness, god. how did he get past that? He tackled inside the down smash. Okay. You know, his zero suit is definitely putting in a lot of work, but honestly, he just needs to find his kill. Gets the edge guard. No, not gonna be able to find it. Gets nice. the down smash in. Oh, oh, bad choice there. Yeah. I thought he was just gonna like go for it. And no nope. throw. The kill he throw, quote unquote. Not killing. Nice. Off stage cross slash. Yeah. 
Okay, he's almost at limit now. If he can get limit, he can definitely win this game. Oh, yeah. All he needs oh, no, oh, he needs he it immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's shield pressure. Maybe he's trying to break a shield at this point, but you yeah. know what? You can't do shield pressure if you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, he uh, definitely went for a hard gamble with the blade team there. Like, I don't know. Maybe he was going for a shield poke or maybe catching him jumping. Yeah. I, I don't know. I think he should have tried to win neutral a little bit more I feel and like then go for the, the cross slash. Right. I feel like if he, wanted, if he wanted to put shield pressure on, he should have done uh, back air to cross slash. And yeah. that would that would have done amazing amount of shield damage. And then he could have gone for like a forward tilt or something afterwards to just hope it pokes. Yeah, even the cross slash could have poked at that point if he like back air the shield uh, enough to whittle it down. Right. But uh, either here nor there. Jump state begins the first game with the zero suit. Running it right back to TF2. See if uh, luck is more on the other side this time. Nice cross slash at shield. One of the new things that Cloud got in this game is that amazing up beat does so much damage. So it's so good at shield. Pretty much every time you hit Cloud shield and safety, you can expect that up beat to come out. I mean, I think it's like easily one of the like top three best out of shield options in the game. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Like, like, Cloud doesn't have you know infinite limit anymore or like amazing up there, but he's still pretty good character. In this game. Yeah. Even his down air, his down air just got neutered in this game. Like it, it just loses out through a whole lot of stuff. It doesn't. It didn't need to be in the previous game. Oh my goodness. That blue kick again. Jump taking the first stock with another berry into a B. You know, I feel like Zero Suit's like, you would feel like you would shield at ledge a lot because I know a lot of Zero Suits like to go for that, like, drop down below ledge flip kick. And if you're yeah. anywhere near that ledge trying to edge guard and you don't have your shield up, you're just going to die because that's going to be a free berry and then that. It kills at like 70, 80 percent too. Yeah, just say he was kind of talking about uh, punishing that move earlier. He was just saying like, just all you got your shield, and like, it's good if it hits your shield because you like bounced off the shield and you have a little foot jump uh, lag. Yeah. You can punish that pretty well right. as long as you have a good like up air out of shield or like up the out of shield. But oh, double back and catch the jump! Uh, oh no. my goodness! Oh, he still got it, and he wow. still made it back. But yet that again, was, oh. I can't believe he made it back from that. Right. Just like barely enough drift to go through that. Yeah, being a cloud man just means saving your double jump off stage until the last one every time, I guess. All right. All right. Oh, with grab, not gonna die, but of course he's gonna go for the free cross slash and give it to him. And again, kind of lucky that he was on the opposite side of the screen, so he wasn't able to, you know, really maximize the amount of damage I could have done on yeah. stage. Yeah. Oh, the wake up down smash. Not gonna die though. Good yeah. jump steady. Not gonna get past these. Oh, nice. He reacts to the foot jump. Right. He uh, saw that he didn't immediately bury him from it, so he just hit him out using free fall right. with the episode. Nice stuff. Yet again, no, as long as you throw out like a move, it doesn't even have to clank with it. Like, ZSS will kind of like bounce off of it. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Luna to miss the blade even like that. He's wasted his limit for nothing. And again, and, you know, now that you can't uh, just hold limit forever, you have to choose your spots to uh, use limit so carefully now. Oh, there's oh. the whiff grab, gets a down tilt, catches the flip kick high, and no, not going to be able to catch the double jump, so he does manage to escape the situation there. But Oh, I I thought he was going to go for the suicide kill there. Like, up his dock, not, why not? Man? I mean, if he had gotten the initial, like, down, like, Upwards hit of it, maybe, but like, because he only got like the top hit of it, I can see why he didn't pull the trigger. Yeah. Oh, what a Texas Force Smash. That was so good. Wow. He caught the Tekken place immediately. And just blew him up. Oh, so are going at 1 1 with the 0 seat now. Do we think Jump Stage is ready to switch? I don't know. I, mean, I, I definitely feel a Palutena is going to come out if this, uh, if he goes up 2 1. For sure, for sure. I mean, his ZSS was actually able to take a game, so I feel like he might just stick with the ZSS this time around. He does have a counter kick, though. Where is he going to go? Suzaku's for FD, I guess? Or yeah. Battlefield? I uh, tell. FD. Okay. Because they, they were trying to go to FD before. Okay. Okay, they stay in zero suit. Nice choice of the Suzaku's castle. We have to the Street Fighter class. Oh, yeah. Dude, Suzaku's castle, Street Fighter music is so good. All right. Here we go. Let's see what Jumpstate can do this time. 
try to get a cross slash out of the period there, but fortunately gonna come out a little bit too slow, but manages to get the cross slash and the board tilt right there. Yeah, you get the slight uh, pivot cancel too to get the extra slide distance on the S2. That move already has a decent amount of range, but then combined with that, it makes it even scarier. Oh, I always get scary time to see a zero so hit in there at like 30, 40%. Up Yo, can we just talk about how he got that little extra height from getting the full charge of his downbeat and oh. therefore he. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, we could talk about that, or we could just talk about how he just got spiked to his death right there. Man, you know, I hate to see it. Like, because one time he goes super aggressive on stage, he just gets spiked for his trouble. So, I mean, we'll take that for Luna, though. That's like the first stock we've had so far. Let's see if we can build on it. He's already doing a decent amount of damage. He's forward air for days. That new forward air is just such a good tool in neutral. He gets so much damage after he's hitting him, too. Try and go for the up air, but this yeah. isn't Smash 4. Yeah, he tried to do falling up air. <laughs> Doesn't work like that. Unless you're a huge body in this game. I mean, like, I know ZSS is tall. She's like 6'3 in her game, I believe. But, like, ZSS in this game, not that tall. I also like that uh, Luna always does reverse cross side when he's off stage. Just in case you try to chase him there, you'll get hit by the box coming up. It's really smart. Again, trying to read the double jump with that up B for a smash, but not gonna be fine against oh, the tech chase nice. up B. Is that gonna be it? That will be it. Nice catch from Jump Daddy. Not too far behind, but he's in a position where he has to approach and approach him the clouds, aerials, and drill suit. Not always the best. Oh, there's it is. It's another good trick. Playing that forward air, catching the button. Now, Luna's just trying to catch a field to jump with the other match. I don't blame him because he's been getting that pretty often tonight. But uh, don't say he has to fall for it. Just, uh, there it is again, the reverse up beat. not going to go for it. I thought he would. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yes, he is. And I like that. Trying to just find this back air to you know, potentially just clean out uh, jump steady stock right here. But does it right there? Not going to be enough percent. But yeah. he does have limit. And oh, oh no, he, he got buried. Oh, uh, no match. Uh, not, enough match, not enough match in the world will save you from that point. Oh, so smart. Wow. So you waited until Jonesy approached him, and then he did his up beat immediately because he was close to the And you know Jump City won that uh, drop zone, like kind of like double jump back air to get yeah. a, that stock. But you know what? Oh, it's going to be him is. that's going to find with his stock losing instead. And then now we are at yep. We're in a one stock meta at this point. Wow. Cross -up. There it is. You didn't get the max damage, so you to get another one. I mean, that's <laughs> like so. easily 18, eight, like 15 to 18 percent, depending on how scaled it is. But oh, oh did no! You really get that? Did you see how so far good. away ZSS was? Like ZSS was like a good like foot and a half away, but it was like the like the boost kick like fire yeah. at the end of the the stiletto like. Must have been like a 16 inch stiletto right there, cause damn, like that geez. was crazy. That was crazy. He got he got him right when he up beat too, so there's nothing he could do about that. Like the, I don't know. Maybe if he was a little bit closer to the stage, he could have like got a tech. But no, and that just sends you totally out. That just that just sucks. Uh, that sucks for me. He, I think he had a lot of momentum going there, but uh, now jump stage one thing with reset and the politics is coming out now. So uh, that's kind of interesting. I'm, I guess this is stage dependent because that was a pretty dominant like wait with the last stock. It's real sweet. And now that he's up to one on Smash Bros, you can see it's the interesting. I mean, maybe just because it is Smash Bros, like he can use the oh, the platform in the center to teleport cancel and kind of like shift his movement around that way. That is true. I don't think Jump Street go for that many teleport cancels, but I appreciate sure you know that. Oh, nice. Forced him out of the limit with the auto Yeah, this Palatine is definitely going to win. Right Ooh, caught the air dodge to the ledge. Nice charge up smash. Jump save getting another first stock. I feel like this is a completely different jump save than we saw in winner's finals. And now, kind of like realizing like, hey, I'm in loser side. I need to like defend my PR title, like kind of get this run back. Let's see if Jump City can actually get the reset here. Yeah, everyone got upset tonight for sure. Like, Luna getting the uh, win on jump and uh, Brazo, K9 going out in pools. Charlie also going out in pools. Exax went out in pools. Like, all those, all the top P, uh, PR members went out. And Tagon's not in PR either, but he also got upset today. 
So uh, I don't know. I kind of was like wondering if the story of this in the would be, you know, unranked player wins. Yeah. But uh, Jumpsy is trying to make that not a case. Getting cross lashed up though. He's got so much damage from B moves. <laughs> Oh, now he's got limit two. Yeah, he oh, just, <laughs> just dropped shield right there. <laughs> oh my, sorry, Luna got at least 70% plus from cross slash alone. That's crazy. I mean, you only have to hit the move like three times to do 70% damage. Look at that. That did almost like 30%. So, like, yeah. just hit that three times and they're already at like 70, 80%. That's so good. Well, wow, he's just going to keep with the cross slash. Why not? Yeah. Doesn't matter if he gets filled out. Oh, good parry. I thought he would do parry like finishing touch or something. Honestly, if finishing touch was actually like a decently fast like move, maybe, but. Oh, he heard me. Yeah. He can hear me. I oh. hear me. <laughs> you know, he read the roll in and just pulled the trigger a little bit too early right there. He was coming back really hard. Nice parry in the down smash. Almost got the charge up as well. Oh, going for a hard read. No pun in. Waiting out the shield drop. Good bait. Cross slash one on shield, see what you're gonna do. All right, then and laid back back. We are going to game five. Oh, Cloud Height. If you're sub to the channel, you actually can use the Cloud Height emote. <laughs> it's probably the one time it's actually relevant. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, I feel like the only other Cloud player in the world at this point is Cheeks from Texas. Yeah, there's a few now, like there's Fargo, I mean, Salt, Fargo, yeah. Salt One, Cheeks. Uh, well, Salt mentioned. One usually goes Roy, though. Yeah, but I still consider him one of the better Clouds, too, even though he's secondary Roy, too. I don't know. I feel like I've seen Salt One Roy way more than I've seen the Cloud. Mm. Like, yeah, I feel like the Cloud's like the secondary and the Roy's the main. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. Roy's a much more consistent player. But I definitely think uh, I'm just proud that there's still people using this character. Right. It's so fun. I mean, but, uh, SoCal having the two strongest clouds in the world at this point. <laughs> yeah, that would be crazy. But Lou is definitely trying to make a name for himself. But uh, Jump Safe switched back to Zero Suit. No, let's see what he can do. He's already starting out really strong. He's going to put that kill, get the limit. Uh, I, feel like I feel like he's going to go for it. But Yet again, he's just short hopping, trying to just shark out the water, seeing where he's going to jump, and waiting to just pull that trigger on the cross slash, and there oh, it is! Oh no! It lost it right when he got the roll read. Or not the roll read, but like the, the air hit. dodge read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> he would have gotten so much more. I mean, that might have been death. He was at like 80%. Yeah, at the ledge too. Yeah. What? Really even right now. Ooh, he's too far away to punch. Oh, Grab. Oh my oh, God. I, lo I love that get up attack. Knowing yeah. that, like, he recognized. Oh, you're charging a smash attack. Let me get this invincible. Uh, uh, get up attack. Yeah. Otherwise, he may have gotten a uh, get up caught by that. Oh, well, he, didn't, he didn't block. Yeah. So he gotta hold the beast kick. Yeah. Always gotta be ready to block a move. Nope. Not gonna get that F smash. Oh, he fell out. And no, he tried up being, but don't get punished for it because it whiffed. Okay, parry down smash. Not gonna be enough for the stock though. Did the did the Nair just whiff or did it like clank with the down smash and he just got hit by the down smash anyways? Uh, I don't know. I just thought he got a free punch because he got a free. Oh, oh, another oh. one. How are you gonna get this? Guy? All right, All right. That's, that's number two at this point. Moving back here, nice. Nice combo getting the up airs and trying to read the up air on that, but not going to find it. Gets the up B instead, and all of a sudden, no, he just made out oh. a whole lot of percent deficit and just took the lead at that point. That was really good parry in the cross slash. Oh, too far away to get a punch, but here we go. Young State going for a boost kick in a pretty bad spot. So now, we make a little bit of a percent lead here. Very patient, raising the shield. Almost has to let him charge up. Another really good parry. These parries have been really helping him out. He's going to a lot more punishes than you would otherwise. Oh, and nice turnaround of the out shield into the up there. Right. So and now limits almost on deck. Ooh. All right, now he has it. What's jump are you gonna do to get off the ledge? He's gonna leave that spot. Goes for the jump. Retreats to the ledge for the jump. Oh man, this is really scary. No. Oh, he's going to get the shield poke he's looking for though. I mean, you know he was trying to call out a double jump right there. But yet again, gets the back air, not gonna be able to get it in time. Oh, he's got to be so careful. His shield's really low. He can get shield poked really easily. You know, I feel like both players are kind of playing a little bit recklessly right now. You know, Luna throwing out all these aerials and jumps to the... All he needs to do is just parry one or just cause one of them to whiff and get a huge punish off of it. There you go. There's the forward air. Not going to be able to find it. Gets a down smash at ledge. Oh, misses a chance for a back there. Oh, my 
god, yet again, that back air whiff too. And nice, shield pressure. Jab one into back air. All right, gonna charge the limit just a little bit. All right, and then here's the flip kick. No, I'm not gonna find it. Oh, yeah, that would've yeah. been a really good chance to flip kick the same stage. Yeah. Oh, someone got limit. What's he gonna do? Oh my god, both players are just, oh, like, flying around oh, each other. Oh, got it. Yeah, pop the grip. And that was a really crucial start for Jones. Right, but he rolled oh, into the F tilt. Oh, oh man. My God. These guys are going back and forth. No one's getting the same thing. But there we go. The cross at 323%. Nice. And there to jab, you know, jab being frame one, and there being only minus two on shield. That's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, you pretty much have to hold that. Like, you have yeah. to know that the jab's coming after the Nair, because, like, you can't really punch in there shield that easy. Okay, he's so up here, now he has the limit on the deck. And again, oh. you know what, like he's only at 70%, you could probably live one cross slash at this percent depending on where he is, so. Oh, oh. but he didn't react to the blade beam. That's yeah. a juicy percent for Luna. Only one stock away from winning the tournament from winner's side with all the big upsets today. Right, but here's the back but throw, and yet again, he has to worry about their flipping too. Oh yeah, at this percent, it's pretty dangerous. Right. He should not even play at the ledge at this point. Just try to hold the same thing as much as possible, but they're jumping sort of where he wants. Oh, but gets off of a super aggressive for there. You know, not enough time to charge limit right now, though. Right. I mean, you can't afford to charge limit when your opponent is just rushing you down like this. And oh. gets the fair and almost get down the top. Yep. Honestly, at this point, he has to play so carefully oh. because either way, both oh, players. Okay, now he's got the limit. Oh, Jose no. in the worst position, but the down air. The drift down there perfectly to close out the tournament. Luna wins MSM. Super stacked 120 entrance. But uh, he just, everyone else got upset, but not Luna. Yeah. Luna was causing I the mean, upset. Dude, yeah, Luna pulling through in the end with the cloud. Can we cloud get a hype, cloud dude. hype? Yeah. Cloud hype, dude. Cloud hype. Man. Love to see it. With that, we are going to close for tonight. It is 12.30. It yeah. is bedtime for <laughs> everybody. You got shout work. Out, shout out to you got East school. Coast. East Coast, if you're here. Yeah. I don't know why. why. You guys should go to sleep. It's like 3 a.m. <laughs> yeah. on the East Coast. Oh, my God. But yet again, it has been uh, Kohai Tempo. Yeah.